Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Bad Code. How's everybody doing? Welcome to another new video. Today we will be talking about the loading screen, the where where you have to wait when uh, all the scripts are loading and all that. And uh, we're we're gonna change that. There there are two options. You well, first of all, we're gonna use the the QB loading that is uh, already incorporated in the Cubicore uh, script group but uh, you can use videos and other images and change the text that appears there so I will try to explain everything uh, I don't know if I will be able to explain everything everything but at least the basics you will know after this so First off, let's show the, the loading screen so we know what, what we're dealing with. <sighs> okay, so when you load up your um, your server, you click the connect. And this is the basic QB core. Uh, loading screen. It has some special text, which I already edited some of them. The images, who they're, who the people that placed them, and all that. So on and so on. So we are going to change this to a video version. Uh, some of these text, this text will continue appearing. I don't know if this one will, but we will check that out. So go to your uh, VPS server. And uh, go to your resources folder, which is in your QB core framework, QB, and look for QB loading. This is where your uh, loading thing happens. Um, here in the assets is where all the images are. If you know, these are images are very familiar to you. You can make your runs in place. You can do one of two things. If you're going to keep the images, all you have to do is just rename these to other things and just use the same numbers here. So nothing out of the ordinary. But you do have to change something else here. But first, let's go to the, the HTML where all the action happens. Uh, enter your HTML file uh, directory. Then there should be three different files. Uh, we're going to look at the index HTML. I think I already have it open. It, it looks something like this. Crazy stuff. Confusing. Cyan and cyan. But what we're going to do is explain what's going on here. That audio you hear in the background, that little music, it's this one, non-copyright uh, mp3. If you want to change it, go to your assets folder. It's right here. Uh, audio, place your new sounds. So just to prove that it is that one. You can place your sounds right here and just change it. Change the name. Nothing out of the ordinary. Second is the image part. Uh, if you want, you can change the images. Place new images in this directory. Assets image. If you go to your main QB core, uh, QB loading, you'll see assets, images, and as you see, these are the four images that are there. Um, if you want to change them to new images, it should work perfectly without any stress. I have no idea if it will resize it if you have smaller or bigger ones. Uh, just remember, the, these files will go to the client and the bigger they are, the more time your server will load up. Um, but if you don't want images, you can place a video. And that's what we're gonna do. I did create a new video 
It is very picky with the videos. It should have 30 frames per second. If it doesn't, it may have problems. Uh, actually, let me just show you. This is the configuration here that I used to save it. It should have 30 frames. I don't know if this is important too. Uh, probably is. And because if it doesn't have this, it will not work. It'll just be a black screen. So let's go back to here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this to your, um, why did I close that? Back to the resources, looking, loading. We're gonna go to your assets, video. There's already a video there, buddy. It's it's just this, nothing worth it. So we're gonna place the video I made. This can be any video. Be careful. The bigger it is, the more it has to download. This is only 117 megabytes. It's decent, but if you put like a gigabyte uh, file, that is going to be downloaded to client. And that is going to be something that will take more time for the, for the player to get into your server. This one is just a hundred and uh, seventeen, I think. Yeah, this will be really fast to copy. Let's just uh, remember it's starter video. Um, we are going to comment this. It's quite easy if you know HTML. Comments start like with uh, lesser than exclamation mark minus minus and at the end of the Q carousel we're gonna put minus minus greater than. We have commented down the part where where the images is working. Uh, we can uncomment this but we're not. We're just gonna copy from div to div. See, that way you have a backup of that. Place it here. And it's already in direct directory. We're gonna put starter video. Control S. Uh, the video will now put be played. Uh, it will auto play, it will go round and around, it will loop. Uh, it is also muted. If you don't want to use this sound here, you can comment this and unmute this. Uh, but if you're good with HTML, you can probably put music looping or random musics like some other scripts I found there that are other free, free scripts. Uh, this does what they do without all the fancy stuff. There is another thing you should check out is the carousel text. This part is done. We're going back to the directory. You go to where your HTML is and be careful altering this. Uh, you should make a copy of this. Actually, you should make a copy of the whole thing just in case you do mess up. But here is the text that you will see there. Since you removed the pictures, you should probably comment these things out. If you want to, you should keep this up. Actually, let's see how, how it looks. I don't know if this appears, but let's check it out. If it does, we'll, we'll show you a way to do that, to remove it. You do have to restart the server. There's no... Um, no way, because you did add files to the server. And uh, since these files are not in the cache, it is not given to the players when, it, when they load up. So you must restart the server. So let's restart it. Okay, let's load up the file. Okay, we are at the part where we start. Let's uh, connect. 
as you can see, it's downloading the file. I'm not sure if it's this one, but I think it is. There you have it. It does appear with a text here, so we'll, we'll see if we can remove this. You should alter is the one that says carousel text one two three four these down here the subtext what you're going to do is we're gonna so we don't lose this information we're gonna put double clicks and slash this is all you have to add on all four of them alter all the other information you have here. I have no idea what this is. This is something else. Do not touch anything else. <laughs> Please do not touch anything else. Uh, just remember when you do comment this, you do need a comma here at the end or else this will just break this whole thing and it will not run. This, What this does is just remove the photo capture by you can change the text here, let's say the uh, first one, maybe the second one. Subscribe to the channel. And okay, let's Restart the server again and see what happens. Connect. As you can see, the buy thing is gone. Outlook subscribe to the channel. So do this right now. <laughs> and there you have it. It's that simple. So you can change it to your, to your liking. If you do know HTML, you'll have fun with this. You can make a lot of different things, a lot of extra information on the right and whoops where the hell am I well <laughs> I set the video right here not looking at that that's for sure so there you have it if you did enjoy the video leave a like if you have any questions leave them down in the comments down below I will answer them if you have any ideas scripts you want to be you want me to look at like uh, mostly QB core scripts the ones that come with the game uh, if you have errors from older scripts that the creator has not picked them up or has not picked them up for like, like three or four years I may look at it I'm not sure depending on the time I have uh, but but it's, I do love checking things out. I do love picking up old scripts and trying to make them work on the on the new build. So there. Uh, and that, I think that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really does help. And click that notification button so you'll be informed of new videos. And we do have a Discord down below in the description. If you want to say hi or ask any questions down there, you can ask. And that is it. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.